Hey friends, what's up? Welcome to this class. Thank you for tuning in. Today is going to be an all level or open level flow. So if you're a beginner to yoga, you can do this class. It'll be restorative, but at the same time, a little bit strong. So a couple of strong postures, but nothing too intense at all. So if you're looking to maybe take a day off or a rest day, but still want to move in the body and still want to open up the body, sort of do a nice stretch as well as some strong movement, then this is a good class for you. I'm going to try to keep it around 30, 35 minutes. And all you need is a mat, your breath as always. If you use a block in your practice, then have one handy. And that's all your best effort as always connecting to that breath, really forging that mind body connection using the breath. So let's get started in a seated position as I am seated here with the hips back on the heels. And if this is a bit difficult for you, you can come into a cross-legged position. So simply crossing the legs. We'll be here for just a couple of minutes. So place the hands onto the thighs. Close the eyes if that's comfortable for you. And then start to take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the nose. Immediately coming to the body, connecting to that breath, focusing on that breath. Breathing into the belly, up to the diaphragm, the chest, the neck, and then exhaling it all out. Feeling the shins or the hips on the ground, on your mat, connecting to that body. couple of deep breaths here, maybe count four or five seconds in and four or five seconds out. Just to really deepen the breath. Get those lungs and that diaphragm working. Good. Blink the eyes open if you had them closed. Let's begin with a little neck warm up just to stretch and open up the neck. We'll do circles with the neck. So bring the chin down to the chest and then start to move in a clockwise fashion. Back, moving very slowly over to the left, left ear down to the left shoulder. Bring the chin back to the chest. Doing one more circle. And then switching sides, doing counterclockwise. Just two circles. Keeping those shoulders nice and broad away from the neck. Last one. Good. Come back to neutral. Let's bring our right palm of the hand out to the side, out to the right side on the mat. Inhale, reach that left arm up. Take a nice side stretch to the right. So stretching out that left side rib cage. Try and keep your chest a little tilted upward so don't collapse that chest down. Maybe bend that right elbow just to get a little bit deeper into this stretch. Inhale, come back to center. Let's bring that left hand out to the side. Right arm goes up and over the head as you inhale. Take a nice side stretch to the left side. So stretching that right side body, really reaching those fingers out to the left side of your room. Feeling the nice stretch in the lats, in the rib cage, even the obliques. Inhale, let's come back to center. I'm going to rearrange myself on the mat. Come into tabletop, so shoulders above the wrists, hips above the knees. Let's do a couple of cat cows. As you inhale, arch that spine down, reach the belly down towards the mat very slowly. Last thing is gazing up. Exhale, round the spine, starting from the base 
all the way up to your upper back, pressing into the fingers, into the hands, hollowing out that chest. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Good. Untuck your toes if you had them tucked. Let's bring the back of the left hand onto the mat, and then we're going to slide it over to the right side. Bring the left shoulder down. You can rest that head down. Your right hand can be just underneath the shoulder to help you out with this thread the needle twist. Option one, keep the hand down here. Option two, you can wrap it around your lower back and grab the inside of your left thigh, deepening this twist. Focus on twisting the spine and breathing. Maybe engage that ujjayi breath, so the ocean breath, little constriction in the throat, just to relax yourself even further. Inhale, undo that little bind if you took it. Come back through tabletop. Let's do the other side. So right back side of the hand onto the mat, and then we slide it over to the left. Bring down that right shoulder. Left hand can be right in front of your face, helping you twist a little, or you can wrap it around the back and then bring it to the inside of your right thigh. Breathing focused on the breath. Inhale, undo that bind. Let's come back up to a tabletop. Tuck those toes back under. Sit back on the heels. We'll come to a little foot stretch using the weight of your body to kind of stretch out the feet and the toes. Very nice if you're doing a lot of yoga, if you're walking a lot, just to keep those feet nice and healthy. <sighs> Breathing, focusing. Good. Let's walk the hands forward. We're going to meet in a puppy pose. So keep those hips above the knees and then walk those hands forward as much as you can, releasing that chest down to the mat, releasing the armpits down to the mat. So feeling a nice stretch on the inside of your shoulders, your upper back, your thoracic spine, reaching that chest down to the mat. You can bring your chin down or your forehead down and relax here for a couple of breaths. Inhale, press into the hands, lift up those shoulders, walk the hands back to the front of the mat, and then let's extend the legs for a downward dog. So reach those hips up and back, reach your chest towards the thighs, bend one knee and then the other, just to work your way into this downward facing dog. Always pressing into the fingers, nice strong arms, strong shoulders. Breathing into the belly. And then slowly slow down any movement in the legs. You can keep those knees bent or straight if you feel ready. Really reaching out into the shoulders, so pressing out into the shoulders. We're going to do a few spinal waves. So inhale, wave that spine forward into a plank pose. Pressing into the fingers. Exhale, hips up and back, downward dog. Inhale, wave that spine forward, plank pose. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, let's move through plank, dropping the hips, opening up for a light upward dog. Gazing forward, engaging the glutes, broadening the collarbones. Exhale, downward dog. One more, maybe go a little deeper into your upward dog. Inhaling, moving forward, dropping the hips, opening up the chest. 
Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, come high onto the toes. Exhale, let's walk the feet to the front of the mat for a forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Keep those knees straight. And as you inhale, let's slowly rise all the way up. Pressing into the feet, swinging those arms up. Engage the glutes. Maybe bring the palms together. Exhale, hands to chest in prayer. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step that left foot back, pyramid pose. Try and keep those heels nice and aligned. So you draw one line down from your right heel and it hits your left. Keep your toes a little bit more in than the heel. Your left toes more in than the heel. Take a deep breath in, elongate that spine. Exhale, fold. Try and press into the big, the mount of your big toe, your right toe. So really pressing into that foot entirely. Breathing, creating space on the inhale and folding on the exhale. Inhale, let's take a twist. So bring that right arm up, twist to the right. Maybe gaze upward or down. Just focused on one point. Really twisting with the upper body. Your left hand, you can be on your fingertips or on the palm of the hand. Inhale, reach that right arm up and over the head. Exhale, let's bring it down. Bring your hands to center of your mat. And then let's point those toes inward, heels out. Take a deep breath in, come up halfway. Exhale, fold forward and down for wide-legged forward fold. Couple breaths here. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, skandasana, so side lunge to your left side. So bend into that left Leg, if you need to use your hands here, that's fine. If your left heel is lifted, that's also fine. We're not gonna spend too long here. Bring the left hand out to the side, so to the back of your mat. Inhale, reach that right arm up and over the head for a nice twist here. I'll try and incorporate a lot of twisting in this little practice. It always feels good to move that spine in a different way loosening it up with twists. Exhale, bring the hand back down. Let's inhale, press into that left leg, move forward. We're gonna meet in a low lunge. So drop that left knee, untuck the left toes. Inhale, rise up, bring the hands up and over the head. Broaden those collarbones, releasing those shoulders away from the neck. Engage the left glute a little bit and then reach that left hip flexor down towards the mat. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, bring the hands down. Bring your, the left palm of the hand down to the mat. Bend your left knee. And then grab your left foot. If this is hard for you, then I recommend you use a strap or a belt. and You simply wrap it around your foot like a lasso and then pull it over to the left glute. Allow your right knee to open up if it needs to. The right foot kind of lifting up onto the knife edge, that's completely fine. You can feel it nicely in the groin, in the right groin as well when this happens. Exhale, let's release. Let's bring the hands back down, lift that left knee, and then heel toe the right foot to the outside of your mat. Just right outside, 
hands are down. We're in a lizard lunge here. So left knee is lifted. And then move around here. Do what feels good. Maybe bounce up and down. Left and right. And then if you want, drop that right forearm down and then follow it with the left to kind of come deeper in this lizard. Moving forward into that right leg or foot if you want to, just feeling this stretch. Moving a little bit dynamically in some of these postures, not necessarily holding them in pure stillness all the time. Inhale, come back up, so onto the hands. And now press into the hands and the right foot. We're gonna reach our left knee to the outside of our right ankle. So move forward and then step that left knee to the outside of the right foot. Take a deep breath in here. Reach that left arm up, hook it onto the outside of your right thigh and we take a twist. So your right hand is behind your glute to the back of the mat. Inhaling, as always, lengthening, and then exhaling, twisting, focusing on that breath. Inhale, come back to center. Let's try and stack the knees on top of each other. If you want help doing this, press in to the hands, kind of lift up the hips, and that helps get the knees right on top of each other. If they're not, that's completely fine. Reach that left arm up above the head, bend the elbow, and then simply press down on the elbow for a nice little tricep stretch. If you wanna take a bind behind your back, so interla interlocking the fingers, then go ahead. I'm just gonna stay here, stretching out the tricep a little bit. Maybe taking a nice stretch, so sort of opening up the left side body by bending a little to the right, feeling it in the back again. Release your hands or the elbow, and if you want, you can fold forward over that right thigh and right knee. Bring the forearms down, maybe face the palms up, if that feels nice. Good. Let's inhale, come back up. Now from here, we're gonna come into a half moon pose. So you can use your hands, bring the, bring the foot, the right foot down, come up onto the left knee, right hand goes in front of you, extend that left leg, open up to the left side for a half moon. Thinking about stacking those hips, so left above the right, if you want, you can bend that left knee, grab the foot, taking a nice little bind, really trying to straighten or lift up that left knee up towards the ceiling and a little bit back to really open up the hips. Last deep breath in. Release that bind, bend that right knee and then step the left foot slowly back for warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sink deeper into that right knee, gaze down at it, make sure you can see your right toe, maybe the first two toes, arms nice and strong, chest nice and lifted, collarbones nice and broad. Your left foot is pointing a little bit inward, more in than your heel. Inhale, let's begin to straighten that right leg. Maybe bring the left foot a little bit parallel to the back of your mat. Let's reach forward with that right hand and then bring that right hand down either onto the foot or on a block or the inside or outside of your right foot down on the mat. Take a twist here to the left, so opening up that body. Maybe gaze up towards the left hand 
really creating a nice line from the tip of your left fingertips all the way down to your right hand. Broadening the chest, the collarbones. Inhale, let's bend that right knee. Rise back up to warrior two. Good. Let's inhale, reverse your warrior. So left hand goes anywhere on the left leg, right arm reaches up and over the head. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, windmill those hands down. Let's do our vinyasa. Step the right foot back, lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, open up to upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. Open mouth. Exhale, two more at your pace. Inhale, come high onto the toes. Exhale, let's walk the feet forward to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, keep those knees straight. Let's rise up. Swing the arms up. Hands to touch. Exhale, hands to chest. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step that right foot back for pyramid pose. Inhale, elongate that spine. Exhale, fold forward. Pressing into all four corners of that left foot, especially the big mound of your big left toe. Folding forward, leading with that chest. As you inhale, let's take a nice little twist. So reach that left arm over, upwards. Maybe gaze up at the left hand, twisting over to the left. You can be on your right fingertips or the palm of the hand or a block. Inhale, reach that left arm up and over the head. Exhale, let's walk the hands towards the middle of the mat. Toes are pointing in, heels out. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. If you want, interlace the hands behind the back and then reach those hands up and over the head for a nice shoulder stretch for a few breaths here. Release the hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, skandasana, low, side lunge to your right side. Take a deep breath here. Let's bring that right hand out to the back of the mat. Inhale, reach that left arm up. Nice twist here. Exhale, bring the hand down. Let's inhale, move forward and meet in a low lunge. Drop that right knee, untuck the toes, inhale, rise up for low lunge. Again, engage that right glute, reach the right hip flexor forward and down. Broadening collarbones. Exhale, bring the hands down. Right palm of the hand down. Let's bend that right knee. Grab the right foot with your left hand. Pulling that right heel over 
to the glute as much as you can, taking a little twist over to the left. You can gaze back or to the side. Again, allow that left knee to open up if it wants to, and the left foot to sort of lift up from the mat where you're sort of balancing just on the knife edge. Exhale, let's slowly release. Don't fling that foot back. Bring the left hand back. Let's lift up the right knee and then heel toe that left foot out to the edge of your mat. We're in a lizard lunge on the other side. Again, take the movements you want here. Do circles both ways. Bounce up and down. Side to side, bouncing as you move, side to side. And if you want, bring that left forearm down and then the right to kind of get into a deeper lizard. Inhale, come back up onto the hands. Press into those hands. We're going to bring that right knee to the outside of our left foot. So reach forward or move forward and then step that knee to the outside of the foot. Good. Let's take a twist here. So hook that right arm or hug the right, the left leg in towards your chest and take a twist like that or hook that right arm to the outside of the knee. Left hand goes behind you. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, let's come back to center. Stack those knees. You can use the hands to do that. Or press into the floor, lift the hips up, and then stack them even more. Reach that right arm up and over the head, bend the elbow, grab the right elbow, and then simply pull it down for a nice little tricep stretch. Or if you want to take a bind, then go ahead and do that. So reaching that left hand behind you and grabbing the fingers. Exhale, release. Bring the hands in front of you. You can stay here or fold forward over the left thigh and knees. You can bring the forearms down if that works for you. And again, if you want to face the palms up, then do that. Inhale, let's slowly rise up. We're moving into half moon. So bring that left foot down onto the mat. You can use your hands here. We're going to come up onto that right knee. Left hand comes forward. And then we extend that left leg, reach the right leg back, open up to the right side. Really think about stacking those hips, gazing at one point. If you want to grab that right foot for a nice thigh stretch, then do so. Really twisting open. Thinking about facing that chest out to the right. Release that bind if you took it. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, bend that left knee. Step the right foot back. For warrior two, rising up as you inhale. Exhale, sink a little deeper into that left thigh. Gaze down again, make sure you can see that left big toe, or the first two toes. Left knee is just about above the left ankle. Nice and confident, open chest, strong arms, broad collarbones. 
Inhale, slowly start to straighten that left leg. You could keep a micro bend, maybe heel toe the right foot a little in. Let's reach forward, create space in the left side body as you exhale. Drop that left hand onto the foot or the mat or a block. Reach that right arm up. Gaze up towards the right fingers if you want. A little bit more balance here. A little bit more challenging balance. Let's bend that left knee. Inhale. Slowly rise back up to warrior two. Inhale, reverse that warrior. So right hand goes anywhere on the right leg, left arm reaches back. And when I say anywhere, that's anywhere apart from the knee. So above or below the knee. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, windmill those hands down, step the left foot back. Plank pose, let's lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, opening up the chest, broadening the collarbones. Exhale, downward dog. Let's walk or step or float the feet to the front of the mat. We'll meet in a squat. So malasana, however you wanna get there. Bend those knees, sit into that squat of yours. If your heels are lifted, that's okay. We're not here for a long time. Exhale, lower the hips down. Slowly lower onto your back. Bring those heels closer to the glutes. Palms of the hands down on the mat. And then inhale, press into the feet. Lift those hips up for a bridge pose. Let's hold this bridge for several breaths. Maybe come high onto the shoulders. So sort of tucking those shoulders under to really emphasize this mild back bend. Feeling the glutes working, maybe Pulling your heels up towards your head so they're not really moving, but you're simply engaging the hamstrings. Like a leg curl almost, but your legs aren't moving. You're just creating resistance. Continuing to keep lifting those hips up towards the sky. Five more breaths. Reach those hips up even more. Exhale, let's lower the hips down. Good. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Take a couple of breaths here. And then with your knees simply stacked as they are, bring your hands out to form like a T. And then we're gonna drop the knees over to the right for a nice side stretch, or rather a supine twist. If you want, bring your right hand onto the left thigh, pressing down to sort of deepen this twist. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, drop the knees over to the left. Again, if you want, place the left hand on your right thigh. Simply pull yourself a little deeper into this twist. If 
Inhale, move the knees back into center. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Let's do three double inhales here. So simply a pause between the inhale. So a pause during the inhale rather. So I'll demonstrate it. You can hopefully hear me through this mic and we'll do three of these. Open mouth. Open mouth, exhale. Exhale, extend the legs forward. Allow the hands to simply fall open, palms of the hands facing the sky, taking as much space as you need here. Feet relaxed, open for Shavasana, the last pose of the practice. Relinquishing all control here, inviting complete stillness and relaxation into the body. Tuning into your awareness here. Simply resting as the observer. Slowly begin to invite some movement into the hands, into the feet. Moving the toes and the fingers. And then slowly keeping those eyes closed, let's move on to our right side. Using that right arm as a little pillow. And then inhaling and making your way up into a seated position. Keeping those eyes closed, hands can come down onto the knees or in the lap. Maybe taking a few more minutes here or several more minutes to simply sit in stillness and meditation after our little practice Otherwise, the video will just end. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my practice with you, for allowing me to guide you through this practice. And I hope to see you here again soon on the mat. Take care.